It is the beginning of April. Spring lingers in the air. As the sun rises above the hills, a large herd of hadrosaur prepare for breakfast. Lurking beneath the water's surface, predators follow this herd in hopes of an easy meal. However, experienced members will make sure that their vulnerable youngsters are well hidden within the safety of the elders. As a family, the adults take care of the next generation. Bountiful lands provide tons of nutrients for all species, variating from nuts, berries, bushes, fruits and leaves. Friendships are formed. For this group of giants, it will always be a numbers game. More members equal a higher chance of safety as well as more eyes to patrol the lands they will travel across. Outsiders like this city party will most likely stay within a close range of the group. The herd is on the move. Today they will migrate to the savannah grasslands. These lands have been their midway destination for decades. Eventually, the herd will settle in the Grand Plains. For most of these young, this is their first journey. Their mothers are constantly calling for them, but distracted youngsters seem to only listen to the things they want to hear. This elder male Parasaurolophus and female Iguanodon claim their roles as watchers. Safely across, food is finally within reach. By now, the herd has been traveling for hours. Time to eat. A little while later, broadcasting calls of panic and alert tremble the ground. What is happening? A tyrannosaur family? A giant pack of raptors? What could possibly evoke such commotion? A lonely Suko. Right. Against this many herbivores, he will never stand a chance. Though I doubt he'd try in the first place. Weeks have passed since we last checked up on the herd. The youngest members of the group seem to flourish. Even after weeks of grazing, feeding and munching off of all that this region has to offer, food is still plentiful and seems to be everlasting. The sheer size of this herd has attracted more visitors to this region. A rare albino Hatsogopteryx hovers over the family, hoping to spot any signs of weakness. Unfortunately for this aerial giant, there's no easy pickings here. From the dense forest, two new creatures have appeared. The Camptosaurus, a mother and her calf. This couldn't have been a better timing for them. The herd will give them protection, whilst the Camptosaur duo will function as valuable scouts. And as one half of the group makes their way back to the savannah, the other half 
ventures into the forest to obtain slightly different nutrients that fit individual needs. For the iguanodon especially, pine cones provide essential fats and minerals for healthy keratin growth and a thick skin. But all the commotion has ringed a dinner bell for two hopeful predators, the Dilophosaurus. These predators are known to bleed out their opponent with their lacerating teeth and claws. Already, big mistakes have been made, and not on the Iguanodon's side. The Dillos went for the wrong opponent. Iguanodons are highly aggressive, with this female being extra fierce as she is protecting her offspring. After a few direct kicks, the Dillos know better than to keep trying. Still shaken up by the attack, the herd moves back to familiar grounds. In the distance, the Camptosaurus scout calls out in panic. Unsurprisingly, the smell of fresh blood has attracted a new threat. And this time, the herd will be facing a much bigger opponent. Not one, but two. This adult pair is no stranger when it comes to taking down bigger prey. They make their way around the herd as they contemplate on their target. But to everyone's surprise, the Pycnos aren't going for the already hurt Iguanodon. Instead, their focus is on a younger Lambiosaur. This youngster has no actual weapons to defend herself, and the predators know. The battle for survival lasts for hours. and results in the death of the young female. Heartbreaking broadcasts can be heard miles and miles away. Months have passed. Summer is casting its scorching heat over Desolate Pass. New members have joined, expanding the herd in size once again. That being said, not all original members of this group have made it this far. The adult parasaur leading the group once stood proud next to another elder of its kind. Unfortunately, this old bull met his end after a gruelling fight against an old foe. Thankfully, surrounded by new faces, our adult parasaur is doing well.
Rich feeding grounds greet the herd. Bellies are being filled and friendships are being formed. Finally, home. Evening has fallen. A soft fog has cloaked the fields. The herd is restless. Even though these lands are being called home, an unsettling feeling woke up the herbivores. And it seems like nature always knows best. This Giganotosaurus hasn't eaten in weeks. Driven by hunger, she silently moves forward. Once the herd realizes the danger, it is already too late. Lambiosaurus paid the ultimate price. He gave his life to save his female. His legacy will continue on as his partner already carries the next generation. <laughs>